Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about distribution center. In short, it is DC. So, first is what is distribution center? It is an important type of warehouse in the supply chain where activities mentioned below can be performed. So, let's have a look at which kind of activity can be performed. First one is this distribution center can be used to store the items means it can be used in place of a storage warehouse or we can say warehouse okay if you know normally the size of distribution is larger than normal warehouse so in the supply chain uh, there would be many scenario where typical warehouse is not present so there we use the distribution center as a normal warehouse so here the item can be stored the distribution center normally distribution of the goods happen so items can be sent to the store to the fulfillment center or to the customer the customer can be b2c customer can be b2b customer so i have highlighted those points here like we can send the item to the retailer store from here item can be sent to the fulfillment center what is fulfillment center i have created a separate video for that you can visit that video to understand what it is also from where the distribution center get the items or goods so normally there are two places one from the supplier and other from the production facility so if uh, business uh, having the in-house production facility then the finished item are sent to the warehouse sent to the distribution center for the storage if production facility is not present you know uh, in the supply chain then normally business get the item from the supplier another is order fulfillment order fulfillment can also be done from distribution center so we can send the parts orders to the b2c customer like normal consumer b2b clients wholesaler so from here order fulfillment can also happen at distribution center the products mixing kind of activity can also be performed so i have also created a separate video on this please visit that video to understand more on this the next is cross docking can also happen at uh, distribution center same i have created a separate video so please uh, have a look on that the last one is it can be used to change the mode of the transportation for example suppose courier service has collected the parcel from distribution center by ground and they put the parcel in the distribution center of their supply chain and suppose that that order is same day order so it needs to be delivered on the same day so in those cases the shipping company will put that parcel in the cargo plane for the same day delivery so these kind of activity can also happen there so it totally depends depends on the supply chain the, you know what the purpose of purpose of the distribution center is in that particular supply chain also few things to be keep in mind is not all these activities which i have mentioned here are necessary to be performed by a single distribution center for example suppose business has created a one distribution center for fulfillment of the of, of the order only fulfillment of the order so that particular distribution center will work to deliver the order to the customer and it will get the supply from the production facility or from the supplier so these two kind of operation can will be performed in that particular you know distribution center 
so some distribution center can be used only for the cross talking some can also be used only for the product mixing so it is not like uh, you know every distribution center will perform all the activities mentioned here now we will see one example of supply chain with distribution center so that we can understand how the things work supply chain with uh, distribution center so here i have put it one diagram you can see so at the top bottom we have a supplier who is going to supply the raw material to the production facility and the pro production facility will produce a finished good and those finished good will be transferred to the distribution center for the storage which can later be used for the order fulfillment or distribution to the retail store now so here you can see i have marked distribution center with one yellow tick so suppose we have got one order from online store that order would be transferred to the distribution center system once that order received in the system distribution center team will will pro start the process of the fulfillment like they will start picking the item then will package and will give it to the shipping service or we can say shipping service company will pick up that order from um, distribution center after the collection of the order from the distribution center the courier service will deliver the the order to the end customer so the the customer could be b2c or b2b or wholesaler so this is how the uh, we can say item or goods flow in the supply chain right from supply to the and delivery to the end customer and in this particular supply chain this uh, distribution is distribution center is being used as the as the fulfillment center and it is also distributing the items to the store so there are two function being performed at the distribution center one is the order fulfillment and other is the distribution to the store so we can see or we can notice in this supply chain not all the function which we discussed previously are being you know taking place in this particular distribution center so because the business has set up this distribution center only for the fulfillment of the order and the distribution to the retail store so as per the requirement of the business uh, we can set up different different kind of distribution center like we can set up one for the you know product mixing one for the cross docking and we can also set up for the you know for the change of the mode of the transport transport so for different different purposes we can set up the different different distribution center or a uh, distribution center one distribution center can also work for for all you know for all type of actions so like the action which we have discussed a single distribution center can also perform all those actions so that depends on the need of the business so it is not like uh, one distribution center you know can have all these type all those types of uh, activity activities which we have discussed no it's not like that item can also be received from the shipping service company in the reverse flow means customer has raised a return and that uh, the that returned parcel would be collected by the 
courier service and that courier service will trans will send the item to the distribution center distribution center will inspect that item will check to whatever necessary steps and then will, will raise a request for the refund so and that returned item in at the distribution center will again will be part of the inventory so this is how the whole process works so this is the uh, you can say this is the simplest example of one of the supply chain so i would like to highlight one point like uh, depends on the how big the business is the number of distribution center can vary so like uh, one particular business can have more than one distribution center four to five distribution center so that depends on the how large the business suppose if the big business is across the country then might possible that business team can set up two distribution center that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video